Hello, I guess Patrick, Tiny Creation Teacher like Class of Coeg R. Hello everybody and welcome to the Meet the Teacher event for Class 5R this session. My name is Karen Reid and I will be one of the teachers who is working with Class 5R this session. Later on in the presentation you'll meet my colleague Amy Horn who will also be teaching the class. Um, throughout this presentation we will be running through the slides and letting you know a little bit more about what the children will be learning in class 5R this session. You'll see that the first slide is all about our school values. Our school values were created in partnership with pupils and parents in our school community. Um, we work on these with the children each week to ensure that they are familiar with the values. We also work on them as a whole school at assembly times. Here you will see a timetable of our typical school day for the week. Um, it's broken down by subjects and um, you'll see when we are doing different subjects. Uh, during literacy time, some of this will be spent doing Gaelic, some will be spent doing English literacy. Um, IDL is interdisciplinary learning, so that's where we would do topic work and take in um, other aspects of the curriculum as well. You'll see that we've got a big block of outdoor learning on a Wednesday afternoon with Miss Horn, and during that time, they'll be covering health and wellbeing, phonics, and numeracy work. Uh, the children have PE twice a week. We have a big block on a Monday and another block on a Thursday afternoon. And at the moment, all PE is delivered outside in the playground. Um, in order for them to do this, it's important that they have a pair of suitable trainers or shoes that they can wear outside and also a waterproof jacket. Now, normally when we would do this event, we would be inviting you into the classroom to have a look around. But unfortunately, because of the COVID situation, that isn't possible. So here we've got a wee photograph of what the classroom looks like. Um, and we hope to be able to invite you in in the near future. In this slide, you'll see our classroom rules. And these rules were created with the children um, in the first week of term. So they've all agreed on what behaviour we need to work on together in the class to have a happy, safe and nice learning environment. So you'll see that they've been very sensible and come up with the following rules. As you will know, uh, Class 5R has two teachers. That is myself, Mrs. Reid, Karen Reid, and I will be teaching the class on Monday, Tuesdays and Friday mornings. And Miss Horn is with the class on Wednesdays and Thursdays. We also have a PSA in the class with us and her name is Darcy Veal. Here I've attached a timetable, which you will already have seen as it was sent home in parent mail, and it just lets you know what teachers will be with the class on which days. So you'll see that it's myself or Miss Horn most of the time, but we also have a block where Iona Brown, the deputy head teacher, takes the children on a Wednesday morning, and they also have Spanish with Miss Dominguez for a block on Thursday afternoon. Our literacy focus this term will be based on oral language and that will be particularly important to try and encourage the children to use their Gaelic as much as possible. Uh, we'll be doing that through storytelling and we've already started on this by reading lots of traditional tales. And through this, we hope that the children will be able to then retell the stories themselves through their writing and through drama and the hope is that this will help them to become familiar with lots of new vocabulary and to reuse that again in their older language and in their writing. The writing focus this term is personal writing and we'll be doing that through letter writing and diary entries and also using persuasive writing. As I already mentioned, our spelling this term will be uh, focused around Nafakla and Kumantha, which are the common words in Gaelic 
and the children are already familiar with this way of working and these will be the words that we will be focusing on during our spelling time. Grammar focus will be using the Frame Canon, which is a wonderful resource created by Mrs. Gregor, our Support for Learning teacher, in conjunction with Storla. And we'll be using that to deliver weekly grammar lessons to the children in Gaelic. Um, we'll also be looking at punctuation in our work using VCOP, which is vocabulary, connectors, openers and punctuation. And the children are already familiar with these terms and will be working on this with during their writing and reading activities. As I touched on briefly earlier on, our maths and numeracy focus this term will be focusing on additional addition, subtraction and multiplication of numbers up to 10,000. We will also be focusing on place value in our numeracy work and during topic maths, we will be working on measurement and that will be looking at length and height as well as volume and capacity and also finding the area and perimeters of different shapes. We'll use a variety of ways to do this by mixing whole class lessons with group work and individual activities. I'm now going to pass you on to my colleague Amy Horn who will go over the remainder of the presentation with you. Many thanks. Hi there, I'm Miss Horn and I also teach in Primary 5 R, 5R. You'll see from the timetable what subjects I cover and when I'm in uh, with the class during the week. On this slide, it's health and wellbeing. That's one of the areas I'll be covering throughout the week. Um, this topic, the topic for health and wellbeing this term is challenger mindset. And we thought it'd be really nice for the children to have an opportunity to share some of the skills, perhaps something they've learned in lockdown, something they're still learning. Um, something they can share with the class and can say, I can do this. I'll send a parent, parent mail out about this, but we're thinking Friday mornings would be a good opportunity for this to happen. Each child having a turn on different weeks. It could be something as simple as like a recipe they've tried, um, but something they're confident to share with the class. Below um, where it says health and wellbeing curriculum, um, these are area, areas that are covered at each um, level mental, emotional, social and physical well-being, planning for choices, relationships, physical activity and sport are obviously um, covered throughout uh, every year in school, but food and health is uh, a priority for primary five, and that's a topic we'll be covering next term. So for interdisciplinary learning, we cover several topics in primary five. One of them was food, which is in term two, which I've already mentioned. This term, it's vibrations and waves and property of light. So quite a scientific um, topic, this term. This will be incorporated through art, through maths, literacy, uh, covered across the curriculum. So several areas will be covered within their learning of vibrations and waves and properties of light. Um, next term, we'll be looking at maps and food sustainability. Term three is biodiversity, interdependence, and community religion. This is comparing different religions within different communities. Term four is Scottish history. We'll touch on Christianity. We'll probably do a bit of this at Christmas as well. And careers. This slide just covers some of the basics of school equipment, which you'll be quite familiar with. Um, obviously, things are slightly different this uh, time around with the COVID and trying not to share and keeping things away from other things. Um, we, the only thing that I would say is particularly different there is uh, every PE session is outdoors now. Everybody in this class has a waterproof jacket so that we're fine with that. I would just check with gym shoes for outdoors. Um, they obviously have to be waterproof. Some of the children wear trainer type shoes to school anyway. That works perfectly. Um, and if they don't, if they just have a, a spare pair in their um, in the classroom, we've got a little box for them that they can put their shoes into. 
Again, um, some routines you'll be familiar with. The only difference now is we have snack and lunch inside of the classroom. And before they have snack or lunch and after, we're quite vigilant in ensuring they've washed their hands and washing, we wash down the tables before and after as well. End of day arrangements. Everything seems to be going smoothly so far. Um, the children are dropped off at Ogden en route to the park uh, where we wait at the grass and when we see whoever is collecting the child will send them over. Um, please don't worry if you've got other children to collect at different areas, different times, we'll make sure they're safe until we see you. Um, and if it, it, time has passed a little bit and we can't see anyone, you'll find the children on the slope at the front of the school inside the school gate and there'll be an adult there waiting. So on the school blog you'll obviously find all the relevant information about the school um, if you've not had enough of the blog already <laughs> but we will still share some of the learning that the children have been doing throughout the week and we'll be doing that weekly. Um, that is it from us but if you have any questions please email the admin um, team in the school and they'll send it on to us. Um, and sorry, to ha this has to be over the screen and hopefully at some point soon um, things will feel a little bit more uh, normal, if that. Cheerie.